Welcome to our next session on Library Automation, Library Housekeeping Operations. Library Automation is the general term for Information and Communication Technologies ICT, that are used to replace manual systems in the library. It is the use of computer-based systems in libraries for accessing, storing, organizing and managing information and for library management. This covers usually housekeeping operations such as acquisition, serial control, cataloging, circulation and administration work. The word automation has been derived from a Greek word automate which means something which has the power of spontaneous motion of self operations such as acquisition, cataloging, circulation, serial control, etc. Definition Library automation can be defined simply as the use of computer and networking technologies in the library. According to the Encyclopedia of Information and Library Science, Automation is the technology concerned with a design and development of the process and systems that minimizes the necessity of human intervention in their operations. ALA Glossary of Library and Information Science defines automation as the performance of an operation, a series of operations or a process by self-activating, self-controlling or automatic means. Automation implies the use of automatic data processing equipments such as a computer or other labor saving devices. Need for library automation the information storage and retrieval problem has become progressively more serious in recent years, especially in the areas of science and technology, where the volume of data and information is increasing at an unprecedented, nearly exponential rate. Keeping in view the tremendous flow of information, to organize information and to disseminate in a systematic way, Computerization is the only answer. Computer-aided system is more convenient, more flexible and more comprehensive and in the long run more economical. A computerized library is always better than a manually operated library in terms of organizing, processing and dissemination of information to users effectively and efficiently. In the present day context, Automation is needed in libraries and information centers, especially because of the knowledge explosion and growth of documents. The amazing growth of documents in the form of books and non-book materials force the library professionals and planners to utilize information technology for the organization of information, since the traditional library methods fail to cope with the task. Greater efficiency. The workflow in the library may be made more rapid, more systematic and efficient with the help of computers. The record in the computerized form are more accurate, reliable and more accessible than the manually prepared records. All sorts of housekeeping jobs and information work can be performed efficiently. Cooperation and resource sharing. No single institution can collect, organize all the documents available all over the world, even in a specific field. Nor any one organization can collect all the documents in the area of interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary subjects. Automation supplements human effort. Automation is a process that supplements human activities with the mechanical, electrical, and electronic devices and technologies. Automation for repetitive functions. In a library, a number of repetitive jobs are involved that take away most of the work time of the staff. On the other hand, automation provides fantastic accuracy, precision, 
performance and speed, bringing under control massive information with huge storage capacity and interpretation capabilities. Characteristics of Automation The main characteristics of an automated library system are The operations, processes are carried out automatically Avoid or reduce human actions It accelerates efficiency and speed in operations It extends the range and raises the quality of existing services Instantaneous answer to multiple queries. Areas of library automation. Computers can be used practically in all library operations. Logically, the acquisition of documents triggers all other activities in a library. Once these documents are acquired, they will need to be catalogued and indexed and prepared for display and browsing on library shelves. The documents then become available for circulation. Serials have unique characteristics and therefore their acquisition and control is managed differently. The following are the major areas of library automation. Automation of library functions, library housekeeping operations, use of electronic resources within the library, for example, e-journals, e-books, databases, etc. Accessing remote electronic resources, for example, internet, online databases, etc. Office automation, for example, use of word processing, spreadsheets, databases, etc. User services, for example, CAS, SDI, abstracting, indexing, etc. Housekeeping operations includes those functions which are done in the background so that the library can fulfill its unlimited goals. The major housekeeping operations that can be automated are acquisition of documents, cataloging, circulation, serial control and OPAC. Acquisition of documents. Acquisition of documents is a basic function of libraries. Manual acquisition system faces the problem of maintaining huge data and files, records, orders, etc. with routine jobs. Use of computerized acquisition system reduces the routine, clerical and repetitive tasks. Automated acquisition system can be used for ordering, receiving, claiming documents from suppliers and returns and cancellation of documents. It can also be used to maintain statistics and in some cases manage accounting activities. Acquisition can be done online if system is linked to an external network. The basic activities of an automated acquisition system are as follows. To receive suggestions for documents to be acquired. To check whether documents requested are already in the library or on order to obtain approval of the competent authorities to purchase suggested documents, to print orders or dispatch orders electronically to supplier or publishers, to check when orders are overdue, to follow up overdue orders, to maintain a file of records of an item on order, to process bills for payment, to maintain document fund statistics and accounts, to generate printed and electronic listing of various reports, to control currency conversions, to maintain vendor performance, reports and statistics. All these procedures and related activities of the acquisition system can be automated through suitable library management software. In such a library automation system, these basic activities are linked with the files of publishers, vendors, suppliers, budget, currency, etc. to achieve the benefit of an integrated library system. Cataloging of documents. Catalog is the main information retrieval tool which helps to locate the holding of a library. Computerized cataloging is used for the creation, storage, retrieval and management 
of bibliographic records and indexes. It defines the record format used in the database and provides authority control etc. Usually there are two different interfaces for search and retrieval of the electronic catalogues. For catalogers that allows them to maintain the library database, for users that allows them to search and display the results, the online public access catalog. The process of computerized cataloging usually covers the preparation of catalogs for titles and process which have been received from the suppliers and the retrospective conversion that is the preparation of machine readable catalog of old and existing library materials. Here the cataloging data is first entered on a worksheet or data sheet designed by following any standard content designator scheme and then data transferred to the database through manual keying. However, if the catalogers have enough experience, catalog entries can be directly keyed into the system as per a standard input format. A computerized catalog record requires to be standardized for the interchange of cataloging records. Standardization and structuring of cataloging records are based on content designators such as MARC 21, Machine Readable Cataloging, CCF, Common Communication Format, UNI MARC, Universal MARC or other similar standards. Serial Control, Serials for example, journals, periodicals, magazines, etc. carry latest information about current activities of divergent fields of research and applications. Serial control function is one of the more complex and expensive procedures in a library that is due to the cost of acquiring and maintaining serials, complexities of manual procedures of ordering, claiming for missing issues, and cost of binding and related paperworks. Automated serial control system manages placing, cancelling, claiming of orders, returning defective, unwanted and unordered materials and accounting and statistical information. It provides a system for recording issues and keeping track of undelivered issues by generating claim reports. The main objective of an automated serial control system is to handle serials efficiently and to maintain holding list. In order to achieve this objective, the system must perform the following functions. Inputting serial data, ordering new serials, recording the receipt of individual issues, renewal of presently subscribed serials, Cancellation of subscription, sending reminders if necessary, claiming the missing issues, request for replacement of defective copies if necessary, dealing with special editions, supplements and indexes, binding control, accessioning bound volumes, report generation, budget control, invoice processing, article indexing, preparation of union list and union catalog, circulation control. Circulation control is a central and highly visible function of a typical library. It is highly essential that the records have to be accurate and all the information have to be updated immediately after each transaction. Circulation system handles circulation activities such as lending, return, renewal and reservation of documents. Major functions of computer based circulation system are as follows. Creating membership, issue and return of documents, to record personal reservations for documents on loan, provision of information for documents on loan, its due date reservations if any etc. Due date monitoring and printing reminders 
for overdue documents, fine collection and printing fine slips or notices, preparation of circulation statistics, provision for handling special category of users. To interface with various data capturing devices for example barcode reader, smart card and RFID. To extend facilities for interlibrary loan ILL. In a computer based circulation system the machine readable file consists of records for all documents on loan from the library and it is updated periodically with new records. This file is called transaction file and it takes required data from other two files document file and borrower file. Modern library management software support barcode based circulation system. If the circulation system is linked with RFID radio frequency identification it can be used for the automatic tracking of documents including self check in and check out of documents. OPAC online public access catalog. Cataloging activities using library management software produce an online catalog. An online public access catalog often abbreviated as OPAC is an online database of documents held by a library or group of libraries. Users typically search a library catalogue to locate books, periodicals, audio or visual materials or other items under control of a library. An OPAC is usually offered as an add-on module that is integral with the cataloguing module of a library management system. OPACs can also be linked to the circulation module of a library management software so that users can find out from its OPAC the status of a document, whether it is on loan, on shelf, etc. and loan information about it as well as making a self reservation or self check in or check out. Recent developments in ICT have enabled libraries to publish their catalogues on the web, making them accessible locally, on site or remotely through the web as a web OPAC. Web OPAC is a simple yet sophisticated searching module that provides access to OPAC over the network. It is a gateway to the resources not only held by the respective library but also to the holdings of other libraries without limiting to local collection but going beyond further to regional, national and international levels. The features of web OPAC are as follows. It offers the libraries the opportunities to have access to various resources of other libraries on the web. It allows users to interact with documents stored on computers all over the world. Makes easier to access catalog data in the form of bibliographic records. Powerful tool that links all the electronic resources for easy access. Some require a login ID username or password. Integrated library systems. An integrated library system ILS also known as a library management system LMS is an enterprise resource planning system for a library used to track items owned, orders made, bills paid and patrons who have borrowed. An ILS usually comprises a relational database, software to interact with that database and two graphical user interfaces, one for library users and one for library professionals. Most ILS separate software functions into discrete programs called modules which are then integrated into a unified interface. Examples of modules include acquisitions, cataloging, circulation, serials and the OPAC. Each user and document has a unique ID in the database that allows the ILS to track its activity. Integrated systems are particularly useful for library users. For example, while viewing a bibliographic record in the online catalog, 
A user can also see that the document has been checked out and note the date on which it is due back to the library. At the same time, the privacy of borrowers can be protected by preventing users from viewing borrower information. Users looking at an integrated systems online catalog can also see that a document has been ordered but not yet received by the library. In a non-integrated system, such information would be restricted to library staff who would view it only through the acquisitions module. The use of Relational Database Management System RDBMS, and client server architecture made integrated systems more efficient and functional. Client server architecture and standardized protocols for passing information from one system to another have facilitated the integration of outside information sources into local systems. For example, an online ordering system might allow a librarian to search a publisher's bibliographic database, select records of books to be purchased and download those records from the publisher's database into the library catalogue. Also, some libraries with expanded integrated systems offer users access through their local OPACs to other bibliographic and non-bibliographic databases both inside and outside the library and to OPACs of other libraries. To conclude, Library automation is the application of computers and other computer-based products and services in the performance of different library operations and the provision of various products and services to its users. Housekeeping operations are acquisition of documents, circulation control, serial control, cataloging, etc. A sound reason for automation of library operations is due to the fact that the bibliographic records are the core of majority of library activities. Captured once at the acquisition stage, an automated system can easily transform it to meet the requirements of the library and its users. Till now, the library automation technology trends have evolved at a leisurely pace. Today, libraries face incredible challenges as non-library entities encroach into traditional library territory. Library users are more web savvy than ever and have high expectations from information providers. Before we attend the next unit, please try to answer the following questions. What is library automation? What are the library housekeeping operations? Write down the operations in computerized acquisition system. Write down the importance of an integrated library system. Write down the operations in computerized serial control system. The books for your reference are Library Automation and Networking for Managing Library and Information Services written by Manoj Kumar Sinha and Chandra Kishore and Satpati in 2004 in Indian Journal of Information, Library and Society, Volume 17, pages 118 to 130. Library Automation, Design, Principles and Automation, written by L. J. Haravu, 2004, by Allied Publishers, New Delhi. Integrated Online Library Systems, Principles, Planning and Implementation, written by D. C. Genoway, 1984, published by G. K. Hall, White Plains, New York, USA. Thank you for your participation in this session. We hope that you will be with us for the next session as well.